eighth installment of the Gamera franchise was to be titled Gamera vs. Garishark, starring a giant snake that had the ability to split into two smaller snakes, and look at the size of him compared to Gamera! He's humongous! And that stinger... <laughs> Aside from a few stills and concept art and a toy line featuring a Garisharp figurine, Gamera vs. Garisharp never saw the light of day, as Daiyaiyai declared bankruptcy in 1971 and the project was permanently shelved. The real 8th installment is the 1980 Gamera Super Monster, and 99% of the monster action is stock footage from every previous Gamera film! I'm not exaggerating, the exact same unedited and unaltered battles with Gauss, Zigra, Virus, Joyga, Giron, and Barugan recycled into one whole movie. Except now, all the monsters are controlled by Xanon, an alien that pilots a ship that's practically right out of Star Wars! Oh, 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 here it comes! Okay. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's so epic. <laughs> the only obstacle preventing Xanon from fulfilling his desires to conquer Earth are Gammy and three space women that, when performing gut-wrenching dance moves, transform into superheroes with horrible spandex and fly over the city with little boys. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> and they kung fu fight other aliens! If you want to call it kung fu fighting, I think. The production team must have taken a lot of time to choreograph this fight. All these crazy flips! Yeah, she takes it like Rocky Balboa. No defense necessary. These space women use musical keyboards for everything, like using it as a means to watch any place in the world and manipulating their vehicles into glowing balls of light that teleports them to anywhere in the universe. Oh yeah. But they really love it when little boys play and sing on it. Yeah, what a hot beat. Listen to them sing. They're so happy. Don't you wish you could join along with them? That is some fine fist pumping. This pump! Should I categorize this movie as it's so bad it's great, or just painful? Either way, it's gonna feel really good. I am amazed a movie like this didn't permanently destroy Gamera's career. Well, not like he had much of one when his films were distributed overseas. Most of the bland, generic US release titles don't even have Gamera in the title! Except, strangely, Gamera vs. Zigra was unaltered. Just like with the Godzilla movies, it's all messed up. The German titles feature Gamera fighting monsters created by Frankenstein, or that Gamera is Godzilla, or in other countries, Gamera is fighting Godzilla, or Godzilla is fighting King Kong! Someone legit received a paycheck for making these international titles! Godzilla vs. King Kong? In a Gamera movie? Man, everybody took their turn to piss all over the Gamera name. But in the mid-90s, we would go from some of the most laughable to some of the greatest, most revered monster movies of all time. Godzilla ain't got nothing on the 90s trilogy. Oh yeah!